hope your day is full of 7-Up and Dr. Pepper and Sunkissed Soda and Mr. Pibb. Mr. Pibb is just like poor man's Dr. Pepper. I don't know. Some Mr. Pibb fans might be pissed. Uh, Shasta. I hope your day is full of Shasta. Actually, okay. If you've fucked with Shasta Cola before, then you're an OG. And also, um, do you remember the fruit punch Shasta soda? If so, sound off in the comments below. If not, you snooze, you lose, okay? There's like this family and they would bring Shasta fruit punch, sparkling fruit punch to soccer games and they're my favorite people to ever exist. Um, Guys, can you see I'm going through something? I keep moving this blue light around. Hi, it's me, Shank. I hope your day is full of all of the different soft drinks that exist. Remember Surge? I used to drink so much Surge and it was full of caffeine. It was... um. It was kind of, I would say it was Mountain Dew adjacent. If you're still drinking Mountain Dew in 2021, you're trash. When I was in Texas, I was drinking a lot of Mountain Dew. And not even just Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew, because a bitch knows how to get down, okay? Um, Diet Mountain Dew, I got to be honest, is so good. It's probably full of all of the chemicals. I also love Diet Coke. I'm a Diet Coke baby. Um meaning my mom did drink Diet Coke while she was pregnant with me. I'm pretty sure I'm just addicted to it. I need Diet Coke to function. There's something about those chemicals, baby. Um, Regular Coke, Coke Zero. I'm not really into Coke Zero because I don't really love the taste of regular Coke. I prefer the taste of cool chemicals in my mouth. That's why I go Diet Coke. Uh, what other drink? 7-Up. I'm more of a 7-Up person than I am a Sprite person. If I find out that, oh, you know what? We have Sierra Mist. I am a little bit disappointed. Same with Pepsi. Ew. No, absolutely not a Pepsi. Not a Pepsi ho. Not a Pepsi baby. I wanted to rhyme something with Pepsi, but I couldn't think of anything. So I said ho and then realized that, that I was just objectifying myself, which that can't be a good way to start a podcast by objectifying yourself. Guys, hi. Welcome to a new episode of Shank with Maddie Chimber. He's an amazing comedian. He also makes really dope videos on his Instagram and his TikTok. Make sure you check him out. Follow him. I believe he's coming to Tennessee in July. So if you're in that area, go see him. Uh, this is my first time actually getting to know him and I really enjoyed recording this week's episode. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's episode of Shank with Maddie Chimber. Check out his Instagram videos. They're super funny. And this week's episode of Shank is presented to you by Sunday Scaries and Flint's Mints. Guys, get some CBD, sundayscaries.com discount code Shank, S-H-E-N-K for 25% off. Also, if you suffer suffer from cotton mouth or dry mouth, I strongly recommend giving Flint's mouth-watering mints a try. Discount code SHANK, S-H-E-N-K, uh, for 15% off. And they come in these really cute little tins. They make great gifts. Get rid of cotton mouth. Get rid of dry mouth. They have so many great flavors. My favorite right now is Strawberry Magic. Okay, guys. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Princess Shank. That's where I post all my comedy dates on my Instagram story. I have a few different comedy dates coming uh, for July. I'll also be in Palm Desert. Also probably going to be in San Diego. And I'm looking into going to Denver, Austin, and more dates soon. So be sure to check in and continue to follow. Uh, And guys, enjoy this week's episode of Shank with Maddie Chimber. Here it is, guys. Front cam. Front cam. It's a weird... What do you think? You're low. I'm low? Yeah. I sound low? No, I mean, I just am towering over you. Do you think I need like to sit on a pillow? Maybe. I would. Then then I look... People don't know if... I'm really tall or I'm really short or you're tall. 
If you I mean, on also, pillow. like, look at my plant. That doesn't look great. I mean, this is an indie podcast. Could you tell? I mean, <laughs> Do you have any a little idea? Bit. I was like, hey, can you come out to the woods? Yeah, come take a trail to my house. Can you come take a trail. Okay, should I get a, I'm going to get a pillow to sit on. I think you should. Can you Although enter- I don't mind. entertain the guests? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I have my own podcast. Let's go. Um, yeah, plug your podcast. What's let's it called? Go. Maddie and Chimber who Podcast. Are you? <laughs> Maddie hey, Chimber. I'm Maddie Chimber, host of Maddie Chimber Podcast. Six listeners. It's a record for YouTube not banning it for being so bad. Are you. Okay, I remember I, the first time I met you, you said Chimber, like Timber. With I'm glad you chim- remember because I was sitting <laughs> I was driving like, here. I was like, who the fuck's this guy who still means less? And it was so, I have a really hard time remembering anyone's names. And it was my first show back. And I think that I had to bring you up after myself. And all I could think about was Chimber, like Timber, <laughs> over and over again. Because no, I hadn't been Do you remember meeting the show so before that, though? Yes, we met at the. She big league me. No, I didn't. Second time she goes, did we meet? I was like, we spoke for <laughs> quite a while. And we, got it. we met at the first time. It was like in a backyard. Don't tell. Don't tell. The second was at Jam in the Van. Yes. I was like, this, where I this, forced this, my last name on you. This Chimber Timber guy keeps <laughs> popping up. Hold on, let me get a pillow so get I can get on your level. Yeah, come on, <laughs> guys. This week on Shank. Sarah Wine Shank. 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 Yeah. Like S H A N K. I don't know if you guys know where she lives, but she lives in the middle of nowhere to the point where I feel like they sacrifice someone each year in a lottery here, like Hunger Games. <laughs> it's very desolate. If you're watching, send help. I'm not home. <laughs> okay. The roads are very narrow here, and I can tell you a local because they flew by me. There was an inch between our cars, and I'm like, you're doing 60, and I'm. J- Pissing a little. <laughs> no, the locals here insane. They take. They these- flew by, and I was like, "This road's is big enough for one and a half cars," and I had to veer over. So I get severe anxiety driving through these streets. But you're you're I'm a, local. a local now. Yeah, you got to figure it out. I drank the Kool Aid. I'm like, "Hey, welcome to my house. Here's my dome. Here's my dome. There's a <laughs> cot. I've never watched it. Don't mind the chickens. There's chickens just running around. And she named them all Earl." <laughs> I wish there were chickens running around. There's I thought a that chicken. was a chicken coop. It I'm is looking. a chicken coop. That's a full chicken coop, but no chickens, which is even... That's if you guys are good listeners, we'll end eerie. the podcast in the chicken coop. <laughs> just <laughs> just eating some old corn. Maddie Chimber, first time on the podcast, crushing less than five minutes Let's in. Just, this is all material. I thought this, it was here. You wrote this for, yeah. for this experience? When I was having a panic attack on the side of the road from <laughs> like these narrow uh, streets. S- narrow streets. Everyone has a different experience on the way here. Most people were like, oh, you weren't kidding when you said it's a trek. I'm sure. See, that's the thing too. I was like, I bet everybody, this is their first five minutes where it's like, the roads are crazy. <laughs> yeah. what, where am I? And then five, <laughs> ten minutes in, they're like, so what do you do for work? It's like a date. Well, like sometimes I fucking and there's some people I'm, I like. I know they can't handle the track. So Ooh, I, let's name names because of vehicles or just their mental, both, the, their, their mental both, state. Both. So I, I have a soccer bag. And you know what, like almost like something you would hide a body in. A soccer a bag. bag. Oh, like a <laughs> big like one. From the 1990s. Like you're a hockey player? Yeah, like I show up with that and then all my equipment and I'm like. Oh, you go to them. I've done that before. Should I have done that for you? Let's vote. Don't they don't but, get on the podcast if they can't make it out to Narnia or the, <laughs> we're in Jurassic Park. That's how I feel. Then so yeah, sometimes I leave, sometimes I podcast by myself. I'm a full hermit. I'm living like Snow White. You're a a nomad. What do they call them? A, like a a gypsy? Is that something? Yeah, we're like let's like a gypsy slash Hippie? Weirdo. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody who's just in the woods talking to themselves and then record sometimes. And then sometimes people listen. <laughs> when I got here, she was sitting here talking to herself. I was having a full dialogue. She's like, I did the podcast already. We gotta get your we gotta get your audio. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. So I noticed you make TikTok videos. Do you like how I'm trying to segue into an interview? I'm like, hey, I've noticed so, your talk. Yeah. Uh explain your theories. I uh, know. I mean, this is what uh, I do make TikToks, but I guess as comics, I call it like a sketch that I just happen to put on TikTok and Instagram. Well, yeah, no, because I feel like TikTok sounds like I dance to Meg the Stallion, Uh, where mine are a little more creative. (laughs) Yes, okay, they are. Let's let's clarify. Yes, so you're not just. 
Doing dances. No, no dancing. Although I have danced ironically in the videos when one of my characters calls for it. I play inanimate. Long story short, I do like inanimate objects. So I try to act out like scenarios. Like I was going to film one. You know, what do I do? What do I do? I don't, I don't know. know. This way, this is fascinating. You pretend to be like a spoon or something. I mean that, or like, uh, like I'll play a hangover. I'll play like, like a hangover oh, okay. on Sunday that won't leave, and then I play the hangover, and then I play me hungover. So, it's things we all go through that I just act out like feelings as well. So okay. it just gives me a chance to paint the picture. So people can see it rather than be just laying in a couch like, oh, I'm hung over. I play the hangover. Right. Totally. So there is there's a lot of creativity to it. It's, it's my like, outlet. It's your writing. <laughs> it's my outlet. So do you I feel like the time I don't even honestly, I remember you crushed both times I saw you, but oh. I don't remember the material. Don't lie. No, I'm don't serious. Lie to the people. No, I did. I was like, OK, this chamber guy, I keep seeing him. The don't tell show was well. fun. Uh, I mean, literally, I don't even know what I say at this point. I, I mean, I talk about dicks. You do? I say the word dick. Uh, I respect <laughs> until that. they, I say it, they laugh, then they get mad and they realize I'm not going to stop. And then they start laughing again. Yeah. You got to say dick sometimes on just, stage. No, uh, I don't know what I. I tend to like at sh the shows we were at. I feel like the first one, it was, I did like more crowd work because we're in that backyard. It was the second show, from my understanding. Yeah. And they were kind of like blah. So I just went up there. I was like yelling at them. And then the jam in the van. I mean, I talked about Bitcoin, crypto. It was a lot of like. What's going on with crypto? Are you a crypto person? You know, I do have some. Doge? I had Doge, got rid of it. I got rid of it. I dumped it. I made a lot on it. Then I hang, hung on to it. And then I trade. I sold it, got Ethereum because I didn't like the ups and downs, like the emotional roller coaster. It's like too much. You wake up at three in the morning, you're like, "Fuck!" But like, okay, just panicking. I thought it was gonna go up after Elon Musk went on SNL. That's like what they fucking wanted you to think. And then who, who are they? I don't know. <laughs> but they People wanted on it. TikTok that talk crypto. It drove me nuts because I know I I'm and you know I have stocks. I mean I've had that for I mean since I was little through my mom and then. I got my own like 10 plus years ago. I so I know how stocks no work. Stocks. I don't know anything about stocks. You should get stocks. them. They're fun. They're not fun. I but feel but like they're it's less like crazy. So adult. It's like, basically what crypto is. You know how you invested it into it? Yeah, I got right. Doge. I had some other stocks and then I was like, I don't know what I'm holding on to these for. They're not doing great. What were I'm just curious. Blackberry. I mean, that's a dead phone no, company. But, I, but it was around the time that everyone was getting. Uh, I invested in BlackBerry, <laughs> AOL, AMC. Uh, yeah. I did all those things that everyone was doing. Blockbuster, right? I got. <laughs> I'm hanging on to it. No, like I have nothing valuable. So then, so then, no, I found out BlackBerry. I've been like reading on some. This is Are how they I have a too much. <laughs> this is how I have too much time on my hands. They're merging with Razor scooters <laughs> during the pandemic. I'm like, they're making an electric car of some kind. BlackBerry. Yes. And I'm like, I'm investing. I was like stoned. I was like, I'm investing right now. I love in people Blackberry. who smoke weed. They just get very optimistic <laughs> towards these shitty companies. Awful ideas. Like BVM. Did you have BlackBerry at any point? Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. I went, from, <laughs> I went from a family sharing a Nokia. I got the Razor flip phone. Okay, the Razor then, flip phone. And then I feel like I had like a couple flippish phones for a while. And how, then. How old were you when you first got a phone? Um, I was a junior in high school. I'm 34. So that Same. was, that was, ter uh, that was, what year was that? We graduated Eight. 2005. Yes. So that was 2003 ish, depending on how the years were cut up. I remember getting the first text message from a girl and I didn't know what it was. I was like, why is there a f an envelope on my <laughs> phone just saying, Hey, what's up? And I'm like, who is this fucking person? And then yeah. she was like, it's me. It's a text. And I was just like. Oh, all right. Yeah. I fucked up. I dropped the ball. She was very attractive. And I was just like, can you just, we'll talk later. And then she's like, oh, okay. And then we never. And then you never talked. So, never spoke again. Uh, she actually became my girlfriend a few, a few years after that. But Oh, you turned it around. I turned around in the <laughs> real world. In the real Texting world. Texting was ass. But anyways, going back to BlackBerry. Uh, yeah, I didn't have, I don't have that. I have Buy a, some BlackBerry stock. Listen, take your stock advice from me, people. If you're someone who's like, <laughs> what should I invest in? Was it best? Lose it all and move to the woods. <laughs> Here's your girl. Where you could wear fun sunglasses on a Saturday. You know what? I almost brought sunglasses and I was like, I don't want to be that guy. Oh, I am this bitch. You did. I also couldn't find my, 
I was like, okay, I cannot find my under eye concealer. I'm going full glasses today. Also, I'm in headphones, which means I could very well be shouting. She's been screaming this, this whole bitch. time. You know, I do um, like a podcast on mine. I do like hearing myself, though. I know, but it's like it kind of like makes it feel like the conversation has a different. Like now, I feel like I'm talking more normal since I took out the headphones. Like am I a different Let's person? Check the levels. <laughs> am I They're just peaking <laughs> in the first half, and I'm just kind of like. <laughs> But, oh my god! Yeah, the Doge. I don't know. I just, so, anyways, talk about crypto. I have. I mean, I fuck. I, I like. I did make money on it, and then I moved it around. All the crypto's eating ass right now, so it doesn't matter. But that I try to talk about that. I try to talk about more like, or lately, like things that are going on. Because I mean, like you get it. Like anything pre-COVID, it just sounds weird. <laughs> You're like, I'm that's like, just sounds like I'm dumb. Like, I have like these old bits that are just it's like, like the movies here. They're like, like <laughs> you physically couldn't have been there the other day. <laughs> it's not even open. Yeah, you can't even just do. Yeah, I'm like, I am so over everything I was doing before the pandemic. And I was like, I right. need to wait for a special to release it. Now I'm like, just put it out on the internet and move the fuck Honestly, on. Honestly, you should. You stop. That's what I'm doing. So I can stop carrying it go. around like a dead fucking, uh, like dead weight. But it's, sh- it's shitty because. I believed in so many of those bits pre-COVID. I know, right? Now I'm just like, pump them out. Now to do them, you're just like, who's this I'm person? I'm a hack. I'm a, <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean, I say this myself often. <gasps> but like, who am I today? I, uh, but the shitty thing is like going back to the TikToks where like people follow me now and I'm getting headlining chances. Now I have to do that because I can't just write a new same, hour. Same, when you're so, doing headlines. So you're like, oh, I can either eat ass for an hour but sound kind of relevant or do older shit. And, and do a, just get, give you do guys well. a show that's yeah. worth paying for. Right. Which do you want? But it's also I like flip a coin before the show. I go <laughs> great show or train wreck. What do we yeah. got? What do we want, people? Or a really know. fun experience, <laughs> different. I you mean, know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, no, it's so interesting. I mean, when I went up, when I headlined in Texas, it was like my first time headlining since in March. Where'd went you go? To, I went to Vulcan Gasco. Oh, I did I did awesome, but I did the Romo room. Shout out Romo, Rob Morris. How was that? It was good. It was, it was It's in North Austin, so it's kind of like a 15, 20 minute drive. But uh, but again, it was like my first time. I did an hour the weekend before in Burbank. At the, you ever do the nightcap? I love the nightcap. I'm doing it tonight. It's a um, fun, fun show. So I ran an hour there, but even then I was just like... You're just like, what am I saying? Like, and it was full of people that came out to see me, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, you're and like, I, wait, they're here to listen to me. After talk. the show, I just drank because I was like, I hated every second of that. It was fun, but it was just like, you know, when you can do better and shit. Well, yeah, I also think that like the experience that I have when I'm performing is, I always feel like I did really bad. Oh, every it, show. It, like instantly I'm like, I did really bad. And then I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'll forget about it. I mean, when did you start when did you start stand up? Uh two thousand ten. Two thousand ten. I've been out here for ten years. I just I speak just co- now started seeing you yeah. around. How long you been out here for? So I was I lived here the whole time. But I started stand up in twenty ten. So the reason it's funny because like you I know have, like really good material. I just oh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Your damn chickens. No, um <laughs> I uh I moved out here for grad school. So I was doing co- that while I started stand up and then I got a full time job. So I have like I've never been a comic who can like hang out late or like stay at the clubs or get them early. Like you do my, your spot. My own like my only time to do stand up was like after work, you know, so I wouldn't waste it going to not waste it, but like I would never go to the comedy store. I would never go to these clubs because I was like, I just need to get good. But you do that for eight years. And then I opened for Drew Lynch for four years, the last four years, four or five years. But just now I'm like actively like trying to like meet people at our level because I just don't know anyone. That's why. And luckily now Jam in the Van, they've been like booking me like Jack Fink and um, yeah, that show's so and fun. Mark Hayes like will throw me spots. So it's nice now that I'm meeting like you guys because I feel like the kid who was like homeschooled forever now like, yeah. hey, like, who the fuck's this kid? And I'm like, I've actually been watching you the whole time. Uh, yeah, but it's also just like, out my window. It's also so funny because. I feel like that sometimes, like when I go, like if I go to New York, I'm like, I've never even done stand up there. When you go there, it's fucking crazy because really? you're like, whoa, there's a whole other community of people who do this. It's like finding it's a different like, civilization. You're like, you're like us. You're like, yeah, you guys do this all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole different energy, and there's a lot of stuff. So you definitely should. Go. What do you What do you like better? I mean, I like living in the woods. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I mean, <laughs> with chickens, the, wood, the weed <laughs> whackers going off. Yeah, it's a real maybe murder. Experience. We don't know. We just hear chainsaws <laughs> and we just uh, close the doors. It's chainsaw hour in the woods. Like you can find me in the geodesic dome if you this need anything. If there yeah. was a telescope in there, it'd be less creepy than the random bed that is in there. <laughs> I was expecting to see like a telescope with like murals like it's of all like beautifully planets. Redone. And then I look in there and I'm like, is that a cot with... It's a cot and some shovels. <laughs> with a gallon of lube near it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's nice Amazing. Though. It's very nice. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I So now I'm trying to like... They have all this shit converge, but it's fun. I like doing this. Do the TikToks now. Now, TikTok, it's funny. Like, the videos are a whole nother level of, like, that, like, you know, post-show. Like, what the fuck did I just do? Like, I never thought I'd care about my posts as much as I do now to the point where... <laughs> Please. It's... I know exactly it drives what me. you... You feel I mentally I deleted one Ill. last night, and I asked my friends, I go, is this funny? And they're like, yeah. And then I, del- I posted it for, like, 20 minutes, and it was doing bad, and I deleted it, and I was like... I'm going to kill you. Yay. You led me down a road of di- <laughs> of disappointment. And they're like, what do you care for? And I'm like, it's my life. No, you know, it's so fucked up. I have my Instagram hacked. Oh, I've sucks. been posting about it nonstop. And I got it back. How did that happen? It's the whole thing. Clicking links. I clicked links. I shouldn't. My friend was like, are you 50 years old? Yeah, what do and you... I was uh... like, <laughs> okay, so I get hacked. This guy in Turkey tries to sell me back my account. That's fine. Uh-oh. Are we going to last the hour? Yeah, she knows what she's doing. And by she, I mean me. <laughs> Welcome to the woods. That's what that rocks for. You're like, oh, you threaten your phone. <laughs> you better not die right now. Um, Wait, what were we just talking about a second ago? Oh, uh, your account getting hacked because oh, you click I click sketchy <laughs> porn ads. No. Want a bigger dick? She's like, like, yeah. It was like, it was like an <laughs> ad that was... um. They were pretending to be Instagram. I'm like, oh, Instagram's messaging me. To get verified. Yeah. Do you know about the scam? I just see them and I'm like, but, but Instagram I, doesn't ask you no, to get no, verified. This is what had happened. Like I got, I had someone who was helping me get verified and he submitted it to Instagram. So I thought that was the follow up. Oh, that's that. right. Okay. And so I thought it was a follow up response and I'm like, this is weird, but okay. Yeah. And I fill it out and then I, you I'm want like, verification. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I guess Instagram's Turkish. Uh, it was, yeah. It was a Turkish guy. Did I tell you that? You did say that. Okay. I'm like, I don't even remember telling you he was the Turkish. Of the puzzle like, together. This guy's a psychic. It was just me. Jimber's a psychic. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Um, yeah, no, but so when that happened, I was like, I'm mentally ill when it comes to Instagram. I was like, I can't post this thing, and I'm missing two weeks of content. Oh, Imagine that's scary, I know. Ma- My engagement's <laughs> ass, it's gone. I started sweating. Yeah. I'm like, and then I have a friend who works at Instagram, this poor guy, living really? his life. I kind of want to, let's call him now life. and just grill he, him with I questions. I feel so bad. Do you ask him questions? No, I felt, he's like, living he's, his life. He's a... He his brain is what I want to know. I want to pick his brain. He's a genius. He's been like, like, and he's like a genius that works at Instagram. And I'm like, hey, I'm logged out of my account. I'm trying to sell detox tea. He's, you're like, <laughs> I you forgot my me? password. <laughs> like, I clicked a link I shouldn't have. And he's now, just doing algorithm. He is the algorithm. <laughs> yeah. And I'm literally like, I had this post about coleslaw that I lost that I really wanted. And I'm trying to get it back. Do you think you'll be able to retrieve that? He's like, I'm like, I had such good engagement. I posted this clip of stand up that I had waited my entire like That's adult hilarious. career life. Like I was saying, I have all this old material. So I posted this set that I recorded at the comedy store. It was doing great. It had like 50 comments. 50 likes. Lost it. Lost it. So How I, did you lose it? Because the hacker deleted two weeks of content. and then That's they a tried- funny joke where he just deleted the bad jokes. <laughs> he del- and you're like, that wasn't funny. You're like, the hacker <laughs> deleted it. He said it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> hacker just knows your brain and then i started like posting all the stuff people were like the hacker's great at posting promotional material that'd be funny if he started promoting his jokes he on did. your on your instagram he started promoting he had like other accounts he was promoting he put like this anime character up on my story what was the thing that you found how'd you know like you want try to log in and it, it was like it. all of a sudden <laughs> my world crumbled <laughs> it was like <laughs> you don't get this how our okay, career I is based on that so, damn thing though i feel like nobody understands it and i when I say that, I people are like, okay, so you lost a selfie from Monday. I'm like, no, but like before that, I posted something that I was getting paid to post. And if I don't have that. They're going to take my money. Oh, yeah. They're going to find me. Yeah. That's why you're here. Uh, you're you're staking like, out right now. I'm hiding. But the, yeah, it's like I tell people 
or I don't tell people, but I think how they don't realize like that number of followers we have, if it hits like this amount for me, at least. That changes I can quit your my life. job. <laughs> it changes your life. Like, it's not just like, oh, I'm posting it's food like, or whatever. It's like, this is how I live in the woods. Yeah. I have to be able to stay here, <laughs> you know? I like how the more followers you get, the closer you get to mainland <laughs> with your housing. <laughs> I'm like, she's got, this is all the 30,000 follower people. They're like, we're going to be down there soon. And yeah. your hacker's just moving you further into the mountains. Oh, my God. I get it. It sucks, though. Like, I dwell on it. I just did a post today, and I just don't check it. But I, I don't like checking for the first hour because I'm like, okay, it's out there. But it's like, I'm so psychotic. Do you want to hear crazy? Yeah. It's not psychotic. It's more like. This makes me feel so much better. because I like to reverse engineer things and like kind of see patterns. And the algorithm pissed me off because when I first started posting the my al- videos. You and the algorithm have beef. I would punch the algorithm <laughs> in the face if I. Punch although I wouldn't because. because I mean. <laughs> But it's I like, just wanted to say cunt. I just throw it out Thank there. Thank you. So when we <laughs> promote those, we'll throw a couple of cunts in it. Oh, yeah. Um, I, uh, it was just annoying because... Flint's mints. Flint's mints, baby. Mouth. Put, I put it in my ass and it won't stop watering. <laughs> Strength 250. Don't put in buttholes. It says right on the back. They all have different strengths. They make your mouth water. Great for cotton mouth. You know what? I do like taking Have you ever been right on a date it? and she's like, why don't you water when I talk? <laughs> Flints. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say put it in your vagina to the ladies, but I was like, you just did the butt joke. It's not even funny anymore. <laughs> um, I did a thing on Instagram where I wanted to see the, what happens with like every hour. So I literally, if I had my phone, I, no, every hour no. tracked how many likes and then I made a chart to now, see. It's some crazy shit. You're making grad school type charts. I have a You're trajectory <laughs> and I literally like I can so, see after one hour, I can almost like get put in put in within like a couple hundred likes where you'll be at in an hour. And then I was like, why do I need this info? And I was like, maybe because if I can see like what hours do the best, then you know when to post it. Yeah, no, I'm I. I've researched. I know when to post. I, everything is planned out. I tested My schedule these. Is all fucking <laughs> yeah. backed up right now because I have to repost things I lost, and I'm like, it sucks. Although, but now you get you get a chance to repost them again. Although maybe people will be like, why is she redoing like, that? Bitch, we don't want to hear the coleslaw stuff again. But every I'm time you again, it's all when I'm you post it, the about. first comment is going to be, and I'm going to write, seen it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I would unlike this if I could. <gasps> saying it yeah do you have anything else it's like the and don't you feel like you have to constantly put shit out there like how yeah. often are you uploading i'm trying to figure that out right now because i i'd go like i'd be good like my brain would think of like a couple ideas i don't do much stand-up because i just don't have a lot of footage and i'm like I don't want to. I just started doing. Uh, yeah. But like, if it, I'm trying to just post things that happen in the moment, like at See, a specific I do, show. I do just like my script. Oh yeah, like crowd work. Like shit. a crowd work right. moment. Because well, you like, can oh, burn that. And it's never it gonna do it matter. again. Right. Are you anxious? Do you have insomnia? Then you're just like me, and probably most of America right now. Why? Because we're learning how to re-enter society. Yes, we <laughs> were by ourselves, locked in small areas, eating only at home, surviving off of what we had in our pantries, and now we're forced to re-enter into society. This might be the first time you have to see your coworker since Zoom, and there's only one way to do it, and that's with CBD. Why? Because why be anxious if you don't have to? Um I know for me, it's been hard to, you know, get used to being around people, getting used to having a lot of interactions. Uh, Yeah, learning how to reenter society can be a challenge. And that's why I lean on Sunday Scaries CBD. They make these amazing gummies. I personally love the vegan flavor because they're sour gum drops full of uh, everything you could ever need, like B12 and D3, which is great for your energy levels and your immune system. They also have a regular non-vegan flavor, which are just as good. These ones aren't sour, but they're really good. They're just little gummy bears. Also packed with B12 and D3. So chill out with Sunday Scaries. They have a whole bunch of great products, including this tincture, 
I'll do a little of this under my tongue um, in the beginning of the day. And then when I come home, I'll medicate with the gummies. Uh, And that's just a great way to chill out. Also, they have unicorn jerky. Where else do they have CBD rainbow candy called unicorn jerky? Nowhere else. And I'm offering 25% off discount code SHANK, S-H-E-N-K, 25% off, which is an amazing discount for CBD. I don't know any other podcast that gives 25% off on CBD. All right. Before we get back to this week's episode of Shank with Maddie Chimber, I'm just going to ask you guys to make sure you've subscribed to the podcast. If you haven't subscribed, just do that real quick. Okay. Thank you. Also, do you have dry mouth? Do you have cotton mouth? You're not alone. Millions of us suffer. I don't know if it's millions, but it feels like it's millions. And when you have cotton mouth, it feels like you've been suffering for millions of years. And that's why I use one thing and one thing only, and that's Flint's mints. If you're someone who is orally fixated, if you're someone who has cotton mouth, if you're someone who has dry mouth, if you're someone who just wants to freshen their breath, try Flint's mints. Uh, they are mouthwatering mints. They are are amazing and they come in different flavors including cherry sour tangerine cinnamon ginger lemon strawberry magic is my favorite flavor right now i don't even have that one here because i finished it all uh but yeah there's different strengths and so they make your mouth water depending on how much you want your mouth to sparkle and tangle i think it feels like sending your mouth to the spa Uh, The mint is a classic clean feeling if you're just looking for that classic clean tingly just brush your teeth feeling. I can't recommend them enough. Um, If you're someone who loves flavor, they also have sour tangerine, which is fun. Cherry, strawberry, cinnamon ginger, which is a strong one that makes mouth water a lot because it's a 250 strength. So check them out. Flint's, that's Flint, F-L-I-N-T-T-S. That's two T's on Flint's. Head to flint's.com, discount code SHANK, S-H-E-N-K. Support Flint's, support Sunday Scaries. They're the reason I get to bring you guys a weekly show. Okay, guys, let's get back to this week's episode of Shank with Maddie Chimber. Um, I just got to find one moment where I say something in the moment. It's tough though, because you don't. You're like, do I do? Sh- I see. I know comics tiring. who do that, to be honest. And then I've watched them, and they almost purposely do crowd work for Instagram. So it's like, oddly, their shows become a thing just to get footage for Instagram for, it's which is inter- bizarre. It, that is really interesting. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hacky, if you yeah, ask me. Yeah, you know, I see what you're saying. Totally, they losers. <laughs> but for me, <laughs> I act out inanimate things, but they're losers. <laughs> me i've for so long in stand-up i stuck so much to the script of like this is what i wrote you do I'm short going like one linery stuff yeah see I, i'm the polar opposite where i just rant and i literally don't know how to write a setup in a punchline well i mean i can't in my head i suppose but i don't like and now you i'm do just a, trying to have more fun and like just don't talk more about my personal i'm trying stuff. to do what you did for yeah. the first 10 years and, and i'm like and now i'm like i don't care i just want to connect with the people and give them a show i don't have to just say my jokes i'm trying to like figure out how to bridge the gap of the two worlds. that's good though um but i thought that like doing stand-up at some point was gonna get easier no it gets harder <laughs> you're, you're like <laughs> it gets harder and then i question why i am even should be in it and then something happens like you get a lot of views on tiktok and you're like i'm back baby and that's I, mental illness i mean I'll, <laughs> I'll do that i'll post a clip and it does well and then i'll go bomb at a show and i'm like i don't know where i belong it's so humbling it's it's i mean it, sta- it sucks you, yeah Stand-up and also, sucks. like sometimes when I try stand up, I love it. You, I'm pointing at you. Um, I see you're going to Nashville. When are you going to Nashville? July 20th. I'm excited. July 20th. Zanies is Nashville. Have I'll, you been there? I have. I featured there once. Oh, really? It's I heard awesome. Nashville's amazing. It's, cr- it's probably one of my favorite clubs. Really? It's all. It's like small, and they have a mezzanine. So literally, you just. I mean, I'm not anticipating selling it out, but it's like oh, mezzanine. If uh, just like a nice and I know what a mezzanine is. Oh, you do. Yeah, <laughs> you thought I did. Do your dumb followers? Like, <laughs> do these idiots? Do you, you guys, guys know, you know what, what a mezzanine is? Um, they're you like uncultured swines. They're like, isn't that like uh like a swing? <laughs> <laughs> 
Going back to your question, sorry. Yeah, we, mezzanine we barrel is just through a it. funny word. I post, I'm trying to figure out how to post. I want to start doing like three times a week and schedule them so I can stop caring and just like You'll get, get ahead of it. I will, oh, no, I'll definitely care. But like right now I did like three days in a row and then I go like disappear for like a week or so and then I come back like ah, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. throwing shit and then, they, and then I go away they're like what the fuck was that this guy's just freaking yeah, out sometimes I feel like people like it when you go away for a little cause I'm like am I too in everyone's face like hey swipe up do this do that I'm like, it's flattering when you get a couple hey Maddie where are your posts why aren't you posting comments I've gotten to some of those see that never I got people, people waiting eat. no one even knew I was hacked until I was like I am hacked and what you were they're seeing like, this isn't is Sarah this is a Turkish man <laughs> what have you done with Sarah away. they're like there aren't any my friend was like i'm like do i have an instagram problem she's like i think you're active like, see this nice is my brain it. for us if i had to do a sketch about you getting hacked i would play it would say hacker on my chest and i'd be in there and you would <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then you would be uh, tied up okay and then he would be shouting out the window which is your instagram does that make sense <laughs> yeah and i'd be like i'm eating sandwiches now and they're like sarah's <laughs> being weird and you're like mm, mm, in the back so well okay so how my long have, have you ever been doing how long have you been doing like the acting stuff like your whole life no i don't i don't even consider myself that i just make i started making like videos because this my I opened for Drew Lynch. Who I, I mean, I just see he did the America's Got Talent and got a good pop from that. But what I admire that he did was he built a following on the internet, and and then also I'm friends with Trevor Wallace. And the through line for everybody, yeah, again, Trevor's great. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. And the through line for all these people was. When they build a social media following, they fill seats and you can now sell tickets and you can leverage pay. You have a career. So what I started doing when I was opening for Drew, I mean, I did like cooking videos. Like I like cooking a lot. So I would do like cooking with Maddie. They're like funny things that I did, but they weren't like paying off that well. Then I started posting stuff like random clips. And then so I never was like an actor. I was always just trying to find that thing that I can just post that like how my brain works. So now these videos like... A lot of the times it's like a scenario that I'm going through that I just like, this would be funny to like visualize in a video. That's so fun. Yeah. yeah my so brain... I'm not an actor. They suck. <laughs> you're not an actor. You don't no. want to be. Cut. I would actually, I would act for sure. I feel like you would be good at it because you're good at your videos. It's like s- some type of skill. You I got. would like comedy to get me acting roles, but I would never like pursue. I, I actually got tried. A... I started out by doing. Acting. Did you press record? Yeah. No. What if I didn't? There's been moments where I haven't. I've had like when I had Ali Makovsky on for. The I did first that once, and minutes. I had to use my camera audio, and I was so pissed off. And it just sounds all fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lovely. This water, no one watch. What do you think about this water. It's not a sponsor. I love it. Tastes uh, fresh. <laughs> it's good. Good water. It's ionization. Like, which so this water. Mm, yeah. A lot of sugar in it, though. A lot of sugar. No. Um. Huge wh- coffee guy. I was actually th- gonna try to stop and get coffee and i was gonna ask you and then i didn't bring a mask and i didn't want to go into starbucks and just get what you kind know. of coffee do you like i'm a coffee person just too. black i don't put just anything in it really i don't got time for that shit really because i drink so much coffee my and i'm a little bit of a health nut but uh hell yeah um it's my car no it's not that was bad <laughs> take two New joke. Um, he's in the he's in the shot often. Oh, he is. Hi. Hey. Yeah. Um. I I drink so much coffee throughout the day. If I kept putting cream and sugar in each one, it's just added calories. And I I literally put two ice. I put ice cubes in it to make it like warm, and then I just chug it. I don't got time to like sip on coffee. Yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. Do you have like an espresso machine? I have an OG Keurig that, that has somehow not broken yet. An OG Keurig. Like I it's one my cup. One because I really wanted it. I was like, a I nice one? Him. No, I just bought him the Keurig. And I was like... They're great. And I was like, do you want... He didn't even drink coffee. I was like, maybe you could get into drinking coffee. Really, I like... drink coffee? When people don't drink coffee, I'm like, <laughs> like what are you? I'm like, how do you exist? What do you drink, tea and claim it energizes you? I, I mean, okay, I'm a tea and a coffee person. I don't fuck with tea. My mom I drinks tea, tea at night. tattoo. Do you really? Yeah. I was on Xanax. I was like, this is a good idea. Tea po- <laughs> Teapots are in, 20- just like... Blackberry stock. <laughs> Teapots and bows. Teapots. Let's get a, a, a modern appliance on me. <laughs> I was like, this is a good idea. You're like a teapot. You go, you're quiet. And then when you start when you start going off, you get really loud and annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> when you have your headphones on, you're the teapot that's boiling water. 
I've tried doing a sketch about a teapot and it's cringy when I walk around like I just like how when they go and then they yeah yeah it's basically a musical it's my first TikTok really no I'm kidding but I wish they just scream out of nowhere but I thought that was uh, humorous could you could you do a sketch where you're a spork my like spork? the utensil, the spork. That's a good one. It's not a spoon and you're not a fork. You're a spork. I'll do that and then I'll give it to you. Just, and I'll let just you, give me a ready I'll let credit. you just watch. I'll let just you just watch. It. And, yeah, right. I have people writing my I'm sketches. Like, I'm like, um, I saw you use the spork bit. I'll be honest though. I'm just kidding. No, I'll be. But you should do that. I'll be honest because of like the demand now. I see people who do videos like similar to mine where they just like do funny sketches and they are literally blowing up like hundreds of thousands of followers to the point where I can come up with ideas pretty well. But I was like, if I really want to start like pumping shit out, I yeah. actually thought of like consulting with comedy, like comedy friends. Yeah, uh, I consult with comedy friends for so many different things. Like I feel I'm like Sarah sent me another teapot idea. <laughs> I'm like, here's a spork bit. Yeah. <laughs> fresh, you know the teapot's like kind of hot, but you don't know, you touch it <laughs> yeah. and then you scream and the dog sparks and, like, yeah, I mean, what's for, the spork one? Let's hear it. The spork, pitch? the writer's room. Welcome to the writer's room. Oh, um, so you're with a spork, Sarah and and so you're having an identity crisis because you're not a spoon and you're not a fork. That's true. You're somewhere in between. Isn't there somewhere there's a knife on the side? Did you see this one with the serrated side? It's a knife too. You're like, what situation are you in? No. I think that's a thing. I might be making it up. But yeah, a bread cutting knife, a different energy than a regular steak knife. I mean, I love talking about inanimate objects. I have so much material on inanimate objects. All your friends are inanimate objects. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And they respond when I talk. That's good. Mm -hmm. I actually have a complex where, um, I thought so. I have a complex, I swear to God, where like I sometimes things like talk to me in a weird way. Like when you like see shit in your kitchen, you're like as if your fridge is like a person. And I'm I'm, like talking to my fridge like, what you got in you right now? And I just feel like a crazy person in my studio. Um, Yeah, it's something about living in a small space. I talk to the dog as though he's going to respond. I'm like, so what's going on, dude? Do you want to... You're a good dog. Yeah, he's a good dog. Your owners don't know who you are, but <laughs> how long have you been doing Santa for? Since 2010. Oh, so same amount of time. Yeah. That's correct. What year, what months you started? Do you remember? I don't remember. I started I, in April. April 20th, 420. You started on 420. I think it was 419 or whatever, but that week. my birthday. Really? It was 420 Eve. You don't smoke weed. What happens if you smoke weed? No, what's funny is I used to... No, God, no. Um, I drank <laughs> last night. Uh, I used to smoke weed. I'm from Connecticut when I was in Boston for college. And it was great, but I think it's because back then weed was illegal and it wasn't as strong. So, like, you would just get, like, a light dose and it was fun. I would smoke my friends, like, after, uh, you know, I'd come back to our apartment. We'd I never bought weed, but I always take a hit and get high. And it was great. And then I went to Hawaii for a summer. And I remember smoking weed there, 2007. Hawaii? I did this for Shaka. a year after. <laughs> I was there for two months. I did this <laughs> once, for three once years. Once you start doing this, you can't stop. And he's just like the throwing cr- up a hang loose, oh the shaka. God. The shot, yeah. <laughs> it was great. Uh, and then I went there, smoked weed, and I just was like, I had a panic attack. And I swear to God, ever since I came back, I tried to smoke weed, and it would just fuck me up. Like, don't get me wrong, like. I mean, I smoked like three months ago. I do it when I'm drinking and I'll take a hit and it's manageable, but I can't like if we smoke right now, I would literally think every word <laughs> out of my mouth was wrong and I would get lost on the way home. That's I would how, die in this mountain if I smoke One time, weed. okay, the worst that I've ever had because I can't smoke before a set and I can't. Fuck that. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't even imagine I, The that. worst that I ever had was at the comedy store and it was like packed. It was on potluck. I fucking... It was the day I got my weed card when you still needed a weed card. What was your excuse? I, I was like, anxiety. And That's I picked one. some guy, like some fucking doctor. In, in like a green a, doctor green coat? Green thing, yeah, from Venice. That's funny. Um, Gave me it. And then I ate two gummy bears. I'm like, yeah, they're small. I'll be fine. And then I didn't know I was going to get on stage, got called on stage. Did the first half of my set regular voice somehow uh, the second half came out in a Western accent? You don't know why. I don't know why. It was like you know those people have like a stroke and then they wake up speaking a different language. You had a stroke. Yeah, you full, literally had, had a, stroke a stroke on stage. On stage, and I was like, I am never doing this to myself. Was again. it funny though? 
Because then no, you're like, like, and tragic. it crushes. You're like, it was like, <laughs> it was like tragic. It was like it, this wow. is what ha- my friend. It was so bad that the host what had to get this? on stage. When was weed still illegal? Ninety eight. And then <laughs> no, like twenty. You were a young 13. comic though. Oh, so you're like very new. Yeah, still new. And so I. So then my friend was hosting, and it was like he was hosting Paula Who? Benji. Oh, Benji nice. Afala. He came on stage and was like. I don't know why she's speaking in a Western accent when she's from the she's valley. She's freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, had to like call it out, right? And then I was like, no, it was like this moment of my life. It just was like the worst moment. Ugh, I that had. room too gets awkward. It's so awkward. Ugh. It was like the most awkward, aggressive energy. And he had to call it out because it was like, what just happened? Right. You have to like release the tension in the room and address the fact that this girl who's not from the South this is woman talking. woman is a, su- a Southern belle <laughs> after she gets it's high. <laughs> I don't matter if I do get on stage right now. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? <gasps> you start out normal. Mm-hmm. And, and I just, twang. I remember I saw the light come on from my perif. I just say a, perif just a quick two minute set. Get the light. Yeah, in. you get the light and it's like, so it's on the side and it's that star and yeah. it comes on and I'm like, how long has the light been on for? In my head. I have panicking. no concept of time. I'm like, right. have I been on for... I could have been on for 10 Has minutes. It been 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, because I my concept of time is completely warped. I do say I'm sorry now. <laughs> Comedy store. <laughs> well, if you excuse me, I'm going to make my way out That's of here, hilarious. partners. Like, <laughs> and you still smoke, though. I still smoke, but never before a set. <laughs> I, I can do that. write high. I love writing high. It's like my favorite. I thing. wish I smoked weed for that exact reason where I feel I like people like romanticize or like I just get high and, and I write closing <laughs> quality bits and I'm like, I want to smoke. <laughs> and then I'm just like sitting there panicking, just a big ink stain on the page. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, no. Writing yeah, so, I'm not a writer, though. I didn't realize I'm very but visual. I feel like you... People like the term writing, like I cannot. Everyone writes different. I fucking literally. I still, I'm 10 years in and I still go YouTube, uh, stand up comedy writing. Cause I need to, <laughs> I need to hear people say things. So I understand what's going on to, to the point where I'm like, what am I, Miles? like, there's no way I'm going to make it in this career. If I'm 10 years in watching Greg Dean talk about setups <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, that's a setup. Huh? And I'm like, I, if, I feel like a fucking idiot. No, it feels like that. It feels like you, cause I was like, okay, by the time I'm like, you know, it's just I clicks. Get, I get by the time I'm like right. deep into stand up, I'm gonna feel like I have some grasp on the art of stand up, and it feels like there's new things that happen all the time. It's, it's like, crazy. It doesn't it feel like that? Yeah. It feels like you have to really, like, you'll never fully master it. I mean, I think we're. Uh, it's I envy people who just don't give a shit what like the out. I mean, I know you just see people get like. I notice a lot of good comics. You see them take a lot of risks, and, and even fun. when it and when it doesn't go well, it's still fun, and they don't care, and they just get off stage, and you're like, "Oh, that's it!" Don't like my first like six years. I was just terrified to do risks, so I would just do these safe jokes. That Same. I mean, now I'm starting to not give a shit because, like, luckily getting followers gives me more shows so I don't feel like these shows are so far and few anymore but you get it like as a younger comic you get like one show a fucking one show a decade and you're like I cannot fuck up I would cry if I had a bad set I would cry for hours me too like okay because I remember when I first started (laughs) at stand up I would have to do um I did bringer shows and I would be like, I'm headlining. They're like, yeah, just bring 40 guests and you can headline. And I grew up here. So I was able to just 40. How about 60? Yeah, They're like, like, what like, are you talking no about? Problem. I ran through like all of my friends that I grew up with. They're like, and like, I made them sit through horrible stand up shows. Just brutal shows. Just like, brutal I remember that. I did like, two and I, 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 I clicked pretty quick not to do those, but yeah, it was fucked. And then, um, but I remember I would I bombed in front of like forty of my friends at a headlining show. And you have to hang I, out with them after, and they're like, "That was really interesting and, and fun." And you're like, "I know you don't like it, but don't say it." Yeah, <laughs> we both know. Even now, when I have friends come, I actually personally hate performing for friends or people that I know. It just I look what at do them. You think about like if you're dating someone that's not a stand up. Uh, my last girlfriend was so. Would I, you bring her to uh, the show? 
I mean, if, if my like hypothetical girlfriend was not a stand up, I mean, I, at some point they have to know what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more but so not right away. Oh, fuck I no. feel like. Yeah, no. I so like... what do you do at night? I'm like, no, your business. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. it's, it'd be tough though, like for, I feel like someone in our shoes where they can just look you up and know you do stand up and it's online. But to go, I would be like, I would only bring them to a really good show. And I try, even now with friends, I don't bring them to like these Are shit you sure ass. you want to come to this one? <laughs> I don't, I'm like, don't come to the show. I go, it's not good. And I'll make up an excuse like, I have a show afterwards and I'm leaving. Don't don't come to the show because I'm not going to be there. And then I've said that before and people still come and knock on wood. It's, it still goes well, but I just, I want them to go to like one where it's just like good quality show. And there's good, t- like jam in the van. I tell people to go to, That's although the, the tickets f- are a thousand dollars. Those are the, that, those are the must. <laughs> I'd like to buy a vowel. Those mm-hmm. are the most fun shows. She's cutting out vowels in all her words. Yeah. The I f- speak solely <laughs> <laughs> consonants. Yeah. She said fun is f- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know. But as far as I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with stand up. I think that but then again I always think about how when a younger comic asks asks advice, you do have good points. So you know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you're like, I don't know where you this just can't is apply good. to yourself. Yeah, I don't know where this is coming from. And like, <laughs> and like, yeah, it's interesting because I remember when I first started stand up, and then people would give me advice. I'd be like, Oh my god, this person believes in Are me. Are you past the store? No, I'm a, like, I'm in the development. System. The de- that's awesome. I never go. I go there every now and then. You it's very, go. very intimidating place. It's funny. I know all the door guys. Like I'm good friends with Joe Marisi. I know Jay. Like I mean, I know it's everyone. It's an intense energy. It's just like I go there though, and everyone's like kind of like you talk to people, and they're looking over your shoulders to see who else they can talk to, and I'm like. What the fuck am I doing? I just go there, do my set, and leave. Because for my most of my twenties, I've spent lots of time. I've there. done two. I've done three shows there ever. Two of were bringers about like nine years ago, and then I did the Belly Room once, and I never go there. You should. I'm a fucking need, flappers boy. <laughs> no. I'm a flap. Okay. I did okay, laugh the factory. Chicken and flappers. I fuck with that. I mean, their food's good. Incredible. The so you so you eat so you eat meat. You're a yeah. Do you? I do. Huge meat guy. So you, have you um, had experience you with ever a kill vegan? You, kill your own chicken <laughs> like we do up here? Um, I actually don't so hate I vegan food. It's just too hard. doesn't eat meat. I mean, if I came here and you said I'm a vegan, I'd be like, well, yeah. There's a geodesic dome and you have a plate of weed. This is my meat. Yeah. <laughs> Mushrooms are meat. Diet. Mushrooms are meaty. If you think about it, I'm like, I do what? It's amazing. I actually made meatless meatballs out of mushroom, and it was better than regular meatballs. Interesting. Yeah. So. My neighbor has me over for vegan meals all the time. Are they vegan? Yeah. See exactly. She composts. She's vegan. She probably shits outside too. They're <laughs> no, like too that's vegan. That's some NorCal shit. Are There's you some, from? Are you from California? I'm from LA. Yeah. Are you from, from the LA? Valley. Where? The va- Encino. Oh, nice. I'm a Valley girl. Encino's great. Because of a, a Dunkin' Donuts there. Yeah, we do. I used to live in Sherman um, Oaks for a little bit okay. for a year. So I'd go to Encino. Do you know the coffee bean by that like weird carousel? Hell yeah, that carousel. I used to do that open mic. You ever do the beautiful. open mic there? No. I used to do that all the time. That carousel in the 90s was flourishing. It was it? Let me tell you. That was the spot? Now it's just a sad, sad carousel. You and your carousel. friends went meet boys it there? It would be, so, in the 90s, that shopping center was Lux. Now it's like weird. It's like desolate. They it's like a coffee the bean. Carousel. There's like a, there's like a, I'm going to just stereotype. CBK. There's some sort of uh, Persian-ish restaurant there. Lots of, yeah. Is there a Morton's? Yeah, there's some type of steak restaurant. And then there's a CPK. Yep. Do you like CPK? Uh, I mean, if I have a gift card there, I'll go. But I'm not really seeking <laughs> out CPK. <laughs> Although, speaking so of like vegan, tw- 2000. <laughs> their, their buffalo cauliflower is fire. Really? So I will give them CPK. Good job on the butter. Okay. <laughs> California Pete's Kitchen. That used to be the spot. Do you spot. like chain restaurants? I love chain restaurants. Be, I like, I'm like. i a Chili's guy. I'd pick Chili. If I, my opener for dating apps is I, I write the girl, let's go drink margaritas at Chili's. And nine times out of 10, they're always like, that sounds awesome. Because everyone knows they're fucking fun and normal, but people are so pretentious out here. Like they're too good for fucking Outback Steakhouse. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you. It's fucking normal food. And let's just go. Um, Eat a blooming onion and have a heart attack. And I would the love woods. to go to a cheesecake factory. I love cheesecake. Fa- I absolutely love cheesecake. I factory. would like. I haven't been to the cheesecake factory in Sherman Oaks in quite some time. 
I was just there. Uh, I was there. You were just there recently. <laughs> before this. And I'm going after this. No. Going straight to the cheesecake My factor. mom, it's funny, like for my sister for my birthday, it's February 18th. She was like, Aquarius? Uh, I'm on the cusp. Yeah. So Aquarius and I'm a Pisces? shapeshifter. Yeah. I'm a cusper too. Are you into <laughs> astrology? When it's going in my favor, I guess. When I read the zodi the horoscope and I'm like, that sounds right. Uh, yeah. And then when I read, they're like, you're a pussy and you cry and are stubborn. I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> but uh, my sister for my birthday, she was like, what do you want? I was like, literally get me a Cheesecake Factory gift card. Did she? And it was great. She got me $50 there, which is the perfect amount of money to be a fat <laughs> piece of shit at Cheesecake Factory. What did you get? Their shrimp scampi is insane. <laughs> Wait, their stuffed mushrooms are cheesecake factory. Their shrimp scampi. I'm going to. I'm gonna get cheesecake factory chilies. I'm gonna be just fat idiot. Uh, what else would I get? TJ Fridays. TJ Fridays bomb. TJ Fridays. I haven't been to one of those in years. There's one near my college, and I'd go there. I was an A-lister there. Have you ever, no. I don't even know what that means, but they gave me a card that says A-lister, and they give no, me free. They give me free Red Bulls, and are I was like, lying? No, I'm dead serious. Wait. No. <laughs> it's called Did bougie. Did you just throw up some gang symbols after you said that you had? Uh, that's um, my sponsorship. You had some that's Red a Bulls at TGI Fridays. They'd be like, you're an A-list. I go, cool. And they're just giving me a Red Bull. Are and I'm you like, serious? Yeah. I love a Red Bull. Do you like Red Bulls? Honestly, no. They don't like, it doesn't it do. like cardiac arrest. I want, the only caffeine I put in my body is. It's black coffee. Black coffee. <laughs> and then I have pre-workout drinks, which is borderline uh, Coke. That's awesome. What? Bang? You drink It's called bang? No Explode. I love pre-workout names. <laughs> no Explode? <laughs> it's called Anal Fucking Fusure. Or, no um, Explode? Uh, yeah, it's great. It's Each scoop is like 200. I'm the very... It sounds this is a douchey portion of the show. Um, Where he talks about his what he drinks before have you ever his had a workouts. <laughs> have you ever had a pre-workout? <gasps> no. Um, they're amazing. Okay, so tell me about pre-workouts. It's basically... I look at it as an excuse to go to the gym. I'm convinced I'm addicted to them. I don't even like working out. I just like taking pre-workouts because do do? it's just, it's like 300 milligrams of caffeine and you just get jacked what up. Kind, who makes it? Um, there's like brands. I mean, the one there's like, I mean, GNC, you can get a lot of them. Well, I think maybe I did buy a pre-workout because I bought Bang. Bangs like a pre-workout, it's but it's had, not it's one. It's creatine. I'm like, I'm drinking creatine You're before buff. a set. You're like, <laughs> like ah! am I going to like, yeah. Ditch like, the like, Western accent. You're just talking like fucking Arnold halfway through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bulk, hulking out. I mean, but they're very, I don't know. So what are we talking you love about? A pre Red, Bull, Red Bull, not a fan of though. I don't know. They just, about, I like it. I'm trashy. I do. When I first moved out here, I was infatuated with going out and partying so i was a big red bull vodka guy yeah what huge do you mean, fan like, of those in my 20s i used to go out party too i'd be like i'm getting bottle service it was fun i mean people shit on all that my cousin was in the military so he i mean he got deployed he came back he was an officer in san diego and he was like dude i just want to go out and he goes i they basically for a year he saved money He's getting paid well with the military. He would come up and he's like, I just want to go out. I'm not even kidding you. We would get bottle service probably no. every other week. No. It was great. To the point where they what thought I was the guy. Where would you go? I just knew a promoter and she would love me. He would buy it. And then, but I was the one that lived here and would always text her. So she literally thought, this is funny. She thought I was just loaded. <laughs> and then one other time I went out with my friend whose buddy is like a well-known rapper, used to be at least. And she saw me with them. She thought I was like Mr. So L.A. you were out with a rapper? Oh, she's great. Can you say which rapper? His name's Sammy Adams. I don't know. I mean, I'm not <laughs> friends with him. Okay, okay. But he was big in like Barstool early days. You know, okay. Barstool Sports? Yeah. So anyways, like we all were out drinking. And then that same promoter saw me again. So for like three years, I could just show up to any club and That's just with I like was. dudes, with fucking dudes. And she's like, yeah, 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 come. It's, but most people, they get yelled at. And then I was like, for some reason, like... Mr. Cool. And then she's like, yeah, I don't care. And then it's because my cousin was funding our bottle service addiction. <laughs> I'm in, I'm photobombing. I'm photobombing famous people. And she's like, this is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be a TikToker one day. That's so funny. But that's, uh, that's long gone. Now I'm just a Chili's A-lister. <laughs> Chili's A-lister. Passing off uh, Red Bulls to the kids. You know what I can't say on a macaroni grill? 
Yeah, that's trash. I had a really bad experience at a macaroni grill. I've actually had several bad experiences at a macaroni grill. Did you get fired? <laughs> <laughs> Got fired twice. Got fired for taking nudes in the macaroni grill hey, bathroom. <laughs> it's good lighting. It's good lighting. I mean, they're known for their... <laughs> their lighting and their uh, bolognese. Which one was it? Was it the Flappers location? No, it was deep, deep Northridge. What was growing up in Encino like? Pretty basic. As a North New England person, like when we think of LA, California, we're like, who the fuck are like we saw Laguna Beach, we're like, is this everybody? No. It's like pretty normal growing up in the valley, like just a regular well, I did go to all girls Catholic school. My dad's mm. a Jew, so that was a little confusing. Really? Yeah. And then um So you're half Jewish? Yeah. Um I'm a half Jew, wasn't bought mitzvahed. So your dad's Jewish. My dad's a Jew. And your mom kind of just like, yeah, we're My not, mom's we're, like, not, we're going to Catholic school. We're not going that route. <laughs> we're going to Catholic school because we can afford it. Do you, do you tell people like, I mean, do you, are you? I'm definitely not Catholic or Jewish. You're just kind of just floating. I'm just spiritual. Yeah, That's why obviously. I live across from a dome. Yeah. Um, I'm in the woods, <laughs> I'm whatever the, that is. I'm in the woods. Did you, did you see the cot? I, did you go to like church growing up yeah well my i have my confirmation would, yeah, i had confirmation too yeah what's your confirmation name elizabeth i'm john joseph that's also so weird would you get confirmed again if you had to no Wait, what catholicism is the weirdest thing of it's all time it's bizarre i like the rituals i use i became an altar server so i could go to oh. six flags magic mountain the things we would do for a field trip <laughs> i was in band to go to a field trip no i was in band for i played the long game for a year to go to fucking six flags what did you play in the band I played the trumpet. Whoa. And I never practiced. And my band teacher would bully me in front of everyone and make me stand up. He goes, play a B. And I didn't know what a, I didn't know what a B was. So, but I knew I can read it on the paper, but I was like, I never knew if I was good because I was just playing with other people. It's like when you sing in the car, you're like, yeah, I'm fucking great. Yeah. And then if you turn everyone else down and he goes, play this. And I would just get embarrassed. But I was like, I'm fucking going on this field trip. You're <laughs> yeah. not going to bully me out of band nerd. Uh, and then uh, it was great. Do you play any instruments now? God, no. I was like, I find I'm instruments gonna... appalling. Just really? like, <laughs> I mean, literally, like acoustic guitar should just get burned. I hate you have such strong opinions of acoustic guitars. I fucking, my old roommate in college would pull out its acoustic guitar and I was just like, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> to the party. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Do you I have had, one? I feel like you no. try to strum here. I, I strum. I sit on my deck and I wake up and I just strum. You have strum. a fucking xylophone yeah. here. You're just like <laughs> <I'm a harp. laughs> speaking in a language you invented. I'm like, let me get my synth and my harp. I'll be right yeah. back. Um, Getting ready for a podcast. <laughs> no. Summoning the I have Jewish a angels. I have a keyboard. I'm Piano's like, cool. I'm going to teach myself how to play a piano. I was like, I'm going to open up a Sam Ash credit card so I can buy this piano. I can you finance have my piano. It's in my kitchen. Because nice. I thought that Do I was going to be, food on it? I thought it was going to be <laughs> <laughs> playing <laughs> it's it it's on. like Elton John. I have the you're song book. You're chopping carrots on it, it with it. months. Really? Chopping carrots on the keyboard. <laughs> That's the name of your book. Chopping carrots on the keyboard. A on music, the ivories. A musical cookbook. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I would, the piano is one I do oddly... I think that's cool because it, it's a very classy. You can't just roll it out. I feel like most instruments, when people are like, I want to start playing this, you're like, no, I don't want to hear noise. <laughs> I hate going to bars and there's bands. They're just banging on it. You can't even hear the singer. You're like, guys, I mean, we don't I need this. I used to hate going to concerts, but now that I've been locked inside, I'm like, yeah, play live music for me. I would go to a concert <laughs> if so. I, that's why I don't mind seeing DJs because I'm like, you're hearing how it was in, made in the venue it was made for. Right. I don't hate bands. Like I went to see some bands at like the Palladium, but I'm like, I never like when a good, they're doing a song, I'd go see Dave Matthews in Connecticut because that's what white people do in Connecticut. Oh my God, I got to tell you about this. I went to and he Dave would just Matthews. jam. He would jam for like an hour. I'm like, play a fucking song. Dude, I went on the Drives worst day of my life to a Dave Matthews concert with that's this guy date. who was in, he was obsessed with Dave Matthews and he was in finance. And he was like, he's like, I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go see Dave Matthews. Like, okay. And he's then boat the shoes. whole time, yes. That's a very yes, rare but- Person, most people in California don't like. Dave no, I was Matthews. like an Orange County guy oh. that had um, moved to LA and was like, "I'm coming to, or I'm going to LA for Dave Matthews." But the whole time he was playing the air guitar, and I was so embarrassed. I was like, 
I want to leave. He bullied you. You were playing the drums. I, <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Come on. I need, I need his backup. <laughs> it's uh, terrible. I mean, yeah. those concerts are, they're just drawn out and they jam. I mean, I like music. I respect talent, but I'm just like. Would you go to Dave Matthews concert? Someone's like, I have a free ticket. Fuck yeah. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, I'd get fucked go. up. But I'd be like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Let's play some Mansco marching. None yeah. of this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> weird Australian instrument that you just found and you're banging on for an hour. But White people at Dave Matthews is its own thing. That should be an Instagram that page. That should be. Or it it's like be, white people at Walmart. Or people maybe at Walmart. it's a video. <laughs> or a video. I, maybe I'll do that. I'll Spork and white people. <laughs> Spork and white people at DMB. Yes. Okay. I'm going to wrap up the episode. That was great. 55 minutes. Yeah, good. 55 minutes. Where can people find you? Do you have anything coming up you want to promote? Um, if you're in Nashville, you want to come see me in Nashville, that'd be great. July 20th. Um, we'll link to your Instagram and your TikTok great. in the description yeah, of this Yeah, check out my videos if you want to watch my me pretend to play cups of coffee and <laughs> dogs <laughs> or cat. I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, nothing really to announce, but check out my stuff. That'd okay, great. cool. We'll link to your TikTok, your Instagram, or your own Twitter. I mean, I am. I don't really tweet much, but okay. check it out if you guys want to see old tweets. Yeah, people might. They get real racial on there, so if you guys want to dig into some cancelable <laughs> tweets. Get controversial. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Bye. Bye.